coming from the Northeast, my parents were a bit concerned about going to a Southern school, specifically because I'm multiracial. And when I came and visited, it's not something that stuck out to me. And I was like, like genuinely surprised when I was walking around and I saw so many minorities. I see 60% is Caucasian, and 40, 40, around 40% students of color, but that's not telling the entire story. The community is very accepting, and you always find groups of, groups of people that will welcome you. I did a pre-orientation program called Stride that is aimed directly for minorities. We have mentors of students of color who've been here for years, um, like be it in their sophomore, junior, senior year, and they have a wealth of knowledge to share. You know, I got to meet a good group of people, uh, very friendly, um, and they were always there for me even after when the program orientation was over. I think students of color at Davidson have plenty of spaces uh, for them to navigate through. We have uh, OLAS, ACAA, the BSC. And organizations like Stride, um, uh, the BSC, OLAS, <clears throat> like other multicultural organizations. What I've seen these groups doing on campus is uh, bringing other students into the conversation and getting them to engage with issues. Even though like the minorities are still, like, still the minority, there's still like a lot of us, in my opinion. We have the Hispanic voices, we have Asian American voices. I'm from Iraq, so we have Middle Eastern voices. I'm in a class right now that I think has four or five international students, and so when we have class discussions, it's not just one viewpoint that we're getting. Discussions uh, move outside of the classroom to the commons lunch tables or to sitting outside. And that to me is the epitome of Davidson College, that this is a place, this is a space for all students to come together and exchange ideas.